GarageBand for Mac comes loaded with thousands of Apple loops that you can use in your projects. But did you know that you can create your own loops and add them to GarageBand's loop browser? In this quick tip, I'll show you how. First off, you'll need to have a melody, rhythm or other sound that you want to turn into a loop. You can use real audio track regions, software instrument track regions or even drummer regions. I'll be using this real audio guitar recording here. To trim the region down to size, hover the cursor over the bottom half of the end of the region. When the cursor changes to this icon, drag and drop the region to the length you want. With your region resized, make sure it's selected and then click on File in the toolbar and select Add Region to Loop Library. In the menu that appears, you can rename your loop and here decide what type of loop it will be. Loops conform to the song tempo, while a one-shot ignores the tempo of the song, maintaining a fixed duration. The scale and genre options here are designed to make your loops more easily searchable within the loop browser, so select accordingly. You can assign instrument descriptors here too, again to make your loop more easily searchable. I'll pick guitar and electric guitar in this submenu. And you can add further descriptions here as well. Once you're done, click Create and your new loop will be added to GarageBand's loop library. You can find it by searching using the genre and instrument filters you selected or by looking in the Users section of the browser. That'll about do it for this quick tip. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com. Bye for now.